I am Princess. I am Panyaram. We love stories. Read me a story, please. Three Idols. Story by Manorama Jaffa. Illustrations by Jagdish Joshi. Published by Avik. Long ago, there lived a king in India. One day, a messenger from a nearby kingdom arrived in his court. He bowed and saluted the king. Then, he took out a golden box and said, Your Majesty, my king has sent this gift for you. He handed the box to the king. The king opened the box and found three ivory idols inside. The messenger said, Your Majesty, my king has asked me to tell you that though the three idols look identical, each one is different from the other. My king wishes you to select one of the three and return the others. The king examined the idols several times but could not find any difference. He gave the box to his prime minister and he too looked at the idols carefully. All three were of the same size, had similar eyes, ears, noses, hairstyles, hands and feet. The courtiers also examined the idols but could not find any difference between the three. The king turned to the messenger and said, I shall take some time. You will be put up in my guest house and may leave tomorrow. The messenger followed the courtier to the royal guest house. The king took the golden box and went to his palace. In the palace garden, his young son was chasing a butterfly. The king called out to him, Son, come here. There are three idols in this box. I would like to see which one you would select for me. The prince took the golden box from the king. He examined the three idols but could not find any difference among them. At last, the prince said, May I keep these idols for the night? Perhaps I shall find a difference by tomorrow morning. Son, you can, said the king. The prince took the box to his room. He looked at the three idols for a long time. He tried all the tests he could think of, but to no avail, he could not sleep that night. In the morning, the prince grew impatient. Then an idea struck him. He filled a large bowl with water and put the idols in one by one. His face lit up as he watched the bubbles rise from the idols. The prince took the three idols out of the water and wiped them dry with a cloth. Then he put them back in the box and hurried to the court. Everyone's eyes were on the prince. The prince entered the court and he bowed to the king. The king asked him, Prince, have you found any difference in the three idols? Yes, father, these idols have a message for you. Some people listen only with one ear and let it go out through the other ear. This idol conveys that idea. The prince picked up one idol and passed a straw through the idol's ear. It came out of the other ear. The prince explained, Your Highness, your friend wishes to convey that one should not keep the company of such people. He kept the idol back in the box. The prince then picked up the second idol and passed the straw through one of its ears. This time, the straw came out of the idol's mouth. Father, this idol is like people who listen to something and soon tell it to others. The message is that one should not befriend such people either, said the prince, putting the second idol back in the box. Then he picked up the third idol. He passed the straw through its ear. It went in, but its end did not come out at all. The prince explained, Your Highness, this idol is like the people who listen carefully, but keep it to themselves. 
The message is that such people are trustworthy companions. Your friend has sent this idol to you as a gift. There was a stir in the court. The king looked at the prince and said, I am very pleased with you, my son. The prince gave the golden box back to his father. The king called the messenger and said to him, I have selected this idol. You may now take back the other two idols. Please convey my best wishes to your king and say that I am extremely thankful for this fine gift. The messenger picked up the golden box with the two idols in it, bowed to the king and went away. The king walked up to the prince and said, My son, you have solved the puzzle. Please accept this idol as a gift from your father. The prince took the gift and bowed to the king. The ministers and the courtiers cheered the young prince. The author of this book, Manorama Jaffa, is founding secretary general of the Association of Writers and Illustrators for Children, which is ABIC, since 1981. In 2014, she was awarded Padma Shri for her contribution to children's literature. Jagdish Joshi is a well-known illustrator in India. He has illustrated more than 300 books for children. He has received several national and international awards for illustrating children's books.